Hello, guys. Uh, good so I'm Professor Julio Rezend. Now we are starting a presentation about space medicine on Mars, the function of health center in a uh, Mars habitat. Okay. Uh, now uh, we'll be showing uh, again uh, our infrastructure of a space analog station. Not a space analog station, but a concept of, about how would be the operation of a uh, of a station on Mars. Okay. Uh, uh, in this case as well, you can see uh, the uh, the health center here. Okay, in the in the concept of this habitat. Uh, in this presentation, we'll be uh, doing a lot of considerations about how this facility, specific facility, would be operating. Okay. Uh, some functional some functionalities of health center are the surgery procedures, also telemedicine, uh, database of disease, also psychological support, em em emergency uh, situ simulations, also guidelines about nutrition. I think we have a, a lot of concepts to be discussed and about the operation of this facility. As you can see here, the, we have some, some topics related to health uh, on, in, in space. Uh, and then uh, health is a, is a field, as a research field with a many very uh, 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 cross-disciplinary, interdisciplinary. As you can see here, since the related to, to humanities, also dealing with social, social science, and life science and physical science, and also space earth science. And then you can see a lot of, of topics discussed since the, 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 the space law uh, to medicine and also agriculture and a lot of topics related to space, okay? Sure. Uh, see here, it's possible to see the, some, some topics related to how, how we, we would uh, be uh, committed to to try to mitigate the risks to the health of astronauts. Okay, so something interesting to 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 discuss uh, in our approach, uh, we consider that we are when it, when we are talking about sustainability, uh, we are talking sometimes uh, environmental, social, and economic sustainability. But first of all, the, the first dimension of sustainability is the personal sustainability, is the, the health, uh, psychological health uh, of a person. And then it's very important we think about how a person would be uh, uh, healthy in, in, in mental aspects to be covering and to be dealing with all, all elements related to a safe, uh, operation of a, a space station on Mars. Okay. Uh, then uh, we can see a lot of, of approach uh, related to the, the uh, research process of space medicine. Since the development of measures based on scientific evidence, uh, in this case, the, the Mars, uh, Mars analog uh, research missions, as we, as we have now, uh, we are more focused in the first in the first moment in terms of of trying to develop methods uh, to to how how to live on, on Mars or how to live on space. Uh, then uh, this this kind of research are, are very important uh, because you can develop this this kind of research in our uh, analog missions. Okay, and then this, this can be a base to all the other moments like the ground validation, also on obvious validation in the in futurely, uh, the operations in, in, in real uh, space station on Mars or, or Moon, okay? Uh, or, or orbiting uh, stations, okay? And then you can see here in this, in this slide from NASA, uh, we can, in, in, when you're talking about space, we have, uh, different possible situations like uh, some health risks, like carcinogenesis, okay? Also the, the possibility to develop cancer. Also the uh, acute radiation syndromes from SPEs, okay? 
uh, also uh, develop this from the, the, the radiation. Also, degenerative tissues effects, uh, like the also this, this is would be related to cardiovascular system. Uh, also, something related to the, the view, okay, the, the view of a person. Uh, one of the recent Netflix series show uh, astronauts that he, he lost the vision. And then this is a, a interesting to imagine this possibility and how to deal with a, a blind person on space or in a future space station on Mars, okay? Also all the problems related to the central nervous system, okay? As the radiation sometimes would be damaged the, the central nervous system. And then this would be uh, this would be interesting to see the a lot of, of research related to how to deal with these aspects, these threats to the human health. Okay, and then uh, current, currently uh, is is uh, is happening uh, uh, research to deal with these aspects. Okay, uh, here as an example developed by uh, JAXA, the Japan Space Agency, a lot of studies that they are developing. Okay, related to health also. Uh, using the, the model of J the Japan mo model connected to International Space Station, also uh, doing verifications with biological uh, uh, experiments, okay? And then uh, they are in the, it's, it's very interesting to see the, the Japan space program considering uh, the, the current uh, research developed, developed by them. And also, uh, this uh, part of this research is developed aboard of the National Space Station, as you can see here. Uh, and they also consider the uh, the technological maturity of, of, of the experiments. Each, each time, uh, they are spending more money, more investment, and this is very important in terms of a basis to a future uh, status of the. Uh, a more more uh, accurate uh, technology and methodology to the operation of the of uh, medicine procedures in the future space habitats on Mars. Okay, it, it is very interesting to see the evolution of them in terms of investment, and I like to see other countries also investing in uh, uh, in this way to have more results in terms of the the medicine exploration in the next years. Uh, this graphic is very interesting. It was published in the Space Safety Magazine. Uh, and then it, it, it's possible to see the, the main medical events for US astronauts during the Space Shuttle program uh, since the April 81 to, to January uh, uh, 1998. Uh, you can see here the, the, the main problem is related to space adaptation syndrome, okay? Uh, the secondly uh, is the, the nervous system and sense organ, organs. The third, thirdly is the digest system because the diet on Mars is, oh, sorry. Uh, yes, think about the, the diet. Uh, on Mars and also uh, this research was based in the International Space Station. Uh, the, we don't have the gravity to our intestines, intestine uh, to develop a kind of a digestive process. Also the food are very different uh, consum consuming uh, in, on a, a space station. And then you can imagine the some challenge to the functioning of the of the digestive system okay uh, think about and, and how to have a a, a a meal more close to the meal consumed on earth okay uh, because of this we need to consider some uh, diet uh, sometimes different from person to person uh, because if you have a people from uh, a person from from Brazil or from from China or from India, and then if you uh, grow up all all of your uh, 
years of your entire life having a, a kind of meal and then if you are consuming a very different meal on on, on space uh, you need to think about how how this would be, would be bringing some problem to the to the health of a person okay uh, also the possible problems related to skin also some some traumas and injuries from if you fall down okay also other problems related to muscle musculoskeletal system also respiratory system also behavioral uh, problems also infectious infectious disease also genitourinary system uh, this is very interesting uh, slide showing the some some important dimensions like the not only the space radiation but also the phys physiological changes like the balance disorders fluid shifts uh, vis visual alterations these are some problems okay also muscle atrophy bone loss also the the distance from earth would bring some some uh, some problems related to the uh, difficulties to how to support the a person in terms of, of health uh, on space. <clears throat> also the uh, Rostyle closed envir environment. In this case, we need to, to imagine that we will be depending of a life support system, system uh, recycling the air uh, aboard of the of a station. And then if, if uh, it, it also the, the secondary uh, life support systems, uh, because if you, if you are dependable of uh, one, only one life support system to recycle the air, the, the, the CO2, uh, and, and if these uh, life support system stops or have, have, have some problem, this will be very difficult for the, for the crew because all, all crew would be would would die because they will not have the oxygen. And then this one of a great threat, and maybe of this I consider the in our discussion of space analog station at that mark the uh, the facility sanitation center maybe one of most most important facilities in our design of our habitat because it is it is like a heart. The, the facility sanitation center is like a heart of, of the station because if the recycling, the, the, the air recycling stops, uh, all crew will die without oxygen. Uh, and then also mainly in the International Space Station, we don't know how, how effectively is the conversion of CO2 to oxygen about of International Space Station. I believe I believe it's working, but sometimes if 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 it's not a hundred percent operating, uh, the 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 astronauts will be uh, feeling some problems related to to the health. Okay, sometimes uh, the, the a lot of different possible situations. Okay, uh, also the isolation, the confinement would be bringing some some difficulties related to to behavior, okay? And also uh, sleep disorders. Uh, here's an example of a, of a specific event in terms of health uh, to the health discussion. As it's just an example, uh, an example to show that there is a specific Congress to be discussing the space health, uh, okay? And now we'll be talking about the internal design. Uh, we can, uh, this is a, a kind of blueprint of a hospital. We can see the reception, also the emergency examination rooms, the labs, also the medical storage, and the operation room, also the, the, the utility. And then, then it's not, it, it's just a, a concept of a regular hospital, but we would be looking this. Uh, how this operating on, on Earth in a regular hospital to imagine about the future uh, space habitats. 
uh, in our concept considering the three levels of uh, of this infrastructure like the uh, it's uh, just remembering is uh, eight eight meters uh, of diameter we are considering the three levels presenting the the lab above the surgery in the middle and also the psychological and health attendance in the in the in the in the ground floor okay and then also it's interesting to see here the also the different uh, something interesting would be the production of medicines about of the space station uh, then this is an example how this would be the operation of pharma pharmaceuticals aboard of the station uh, in this facility uh, it, this is kind of a lab and how uh, sometimes we need to look the this facility one of our worries is related to how to examine uh the the space suit the space suit need to be examined because uh, uh on mars we will have the very sharp particles the damaging the space suit and then also part of the of the dust dust and uh, mass dust the mass regolith will be damaging the the space suit also the e, e, and e, e, if the astronaut had contact with this this dust this would be some damages to the, the lungs of, uh, of the astronaut, okay, to bring problems to have respiratory uh, system. Also, the, the second topic relates to the, uh, the, the health center. We'd like to mention the possibility of uh, have a, a surgery room. Surgery room, as you can see here, the, also some possible robotic uh, tool to develop the to support the the, the surgery uh, also the these are kind of psychology psychology and, and cryotherapy habitat as you can see here the uh, in the in terms to develop the cycle the psychology uh, uh, treatment we also can imagine the the use of headsets the virtual reality headsets uh, to the astronauts be looking uh, some uh, possible images and movies uh, that would be help helpful to the to deal with the psychological em emergencies. Uh, now we're talking about some applied technologies, also the robotics uh, connected to uh, artificial intelligence that we consider very important. Uh, this kind of technology is supposed to be operating remotely, not connected to Earth, because we would have the the ten minutes of fifty minutes of of to the signal uh, travel from Mars to Earth and, and return. In this in this case, these uh, these procedures uh, would be operating remotely. Okay. Uh, and then you need a lot of computing to be used to the operation of this kind of, of uh, technology uh, in space. And then a lot of research uh, uh, just just was developed uh, aboard of the National Space Station, okay, as you can see here in this photo. And then we consider that some when we are talking about some possible results to generate the seed or transport from Earth. And then we I imagine that almost everything will be transported from Earth. Okay, and maybe part of uh, part of the medicines will be produced on Mars. Uh, then, for the operation of the surgery room, we uh, consider a lot of equipments like anesthesia machine, anesthesia monitor, video monitors, anesthesia card, or also the surgical microscope operating tables, operating lights, out of transfusion, lasers, uh, also faucet air warmer, uh, pneumatical tourniquets, and other equip equipments to be used aboard of a space station. Uh, related to our third great topic uh, is, uh, is management. Uh, we imagine to the operation of this facility, the health center, the importance of three, three professionals, the physician, the nurse, and psychiatrist. 
Okay, the, the physician will be a medicine doctor. Uh, some duties of this person is to proceed the surgeries, proceed routines and operational protocols, provide guidance to avoid risks, conduct educational activities and train astronauts related to health, communication with nutritionists, also coordinate daily reports about the astronauts' health. Uh, the nurse will be a, a, a person assessing and planning nursing care requirements, provide pre and post operation care, also monitoring and administering medication and intravenous infusions. Also take patient samples, pulse uh, temperatures and blood pressures, writing records, supervising uh, the staff, uh, organizing the workloads and provide emotional support to patients. In the third position, it's a psychiatrist, okay, uh, or a psychologist. Uh, the psychiatrist is a, is a medicine uh, career. Uh, it's, a, it's a doctor that he will be administrating uh, the, the medicine to the astronauts. And then some, some duties are to emphasize the well-being, uh, also support uh, the and assist meditation sessions, mental exams, psychological tests, uh, support the health performance exams, manage laboratory tools, study routines, also manage drugs. Okay. Uh, also the, the final list of drugs to be transported from Earth. Uh, thinking about the training related to the health center, we consider some, some topics like the simulation of accidents, health in space, also challenge lessons and success that have led uh, to permanent occupation in Mars, also the conditions to protect and support life, how, how the sense perceived being weightless, way, way how, how key uh, psychological systems respond to one third of gravity identified on Mars, uh, how human, how human space uh, physiology research is performed on Mars, also major issues and challenges exploring human life on Mars. Uh, here we have some videos of, from YouTube, like the space medicine, medical operation, also how to manage your mental health, occupational safety and health, and building resilience. And some uh, some interesting topics to uh, train the astronauts. Also, we are considered the one kilo by day uh, of food, and also two point uh, liters to the to preparation of food. And also to lead leaders to to the birth of the of the astronauts aboard of this station. Uh, okay, some guidelines to to be provided to other facilities, and uh, the the health center will be very important because all days they need to share some some tips and some some guidelines to the entire crew, and then uh, they will be mentioned some topics like. Uh, about the, the importance of mental well-being, about the entertainment, about the daily routines, about the health occupation, about the environment and safety guidelines, also related to provide harmony and collaboration, also to make the astronauts comfortable about to be in space, emphasize the well-being, uh, control the calories or you know, the healthy data, suggestion of physical exercise, guideline about hygiene, and guidelines to of mindful mindfulness techniques. The fourth dimension of this presentation is related to protocols. Uh, we are imagining some protocols related to the some specific protocol to this facility. Uh, pro protocol for harmony and relationship to deal with stress. Protocols to organize the surgery surgery room. Also to proceed the surgery. Also, the infrastructure ma uh, maintenance protocols. In this, in this uh, specific facility, the health center, we can imagine a lot of medicine protocols to be to be developed that we can add here. Okay, like the e e exams protocols. In this case, how uh, how would be uh, occurring the 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 uh, the health the health uh, exams, if it's, uh, if it's daily or if it's weekly or monthly, 
then we have a lot of uh, of uh, like a schedule to be developing these exams with action of during the, the time that's operating the uh, the mission okay uh, also a uh, specific protocol is related to the operation room of, of in this case how the, the surgery would be uh, uh, occurring uh, also, it's interesting to see here the some some the recommendation uh, protocols uh, applied to the public hospital in Murcia, Spain is a, a article, uh, and then it's kind of interesting protocols because it's presenting different guidelines to to the shower or bath, okay, with accepted agents, also watch and carefully clean the anatomic region of the surgery. Uh, use appropriate and safety agent. Also, the other topics: uh, the eliminate the, the the hair of that will be received the the procedure. And this is interesting. To see the, this kind of the the protocol applied to a hospital, to a, so, so, a surgical uh, a moment like this, because also we need to think how this would be operating or in this specific. Uh, space health center okay uh, some some uh, topics related to protocols of safety we i imagine the the hygiene protocol it also is very interesting the use of wearables uh, to data collection uh, in this case it will be interesting to consider the apple watch uh, today i believe is one of the best uh, uh, wearables uh, available uh, because with Apple Watch, it's, it's possible to collect the, the heart rate, calorie consumption, physical activity level, okay? And then the Apple Watch also in the future versions of Apple Watch will be providing a lot of more data about the astronauts. Also in the, uh, the protocols would be uh, important to collect the, also all, all the, not, not the wearables, but all the procedures to collect the, the uh, data from sal saliva, load feces and urine okay uh, also is, is important uh, in terms of protocols of safety we have some protocols to deal with the psychological emergencies also protocols and simulations to deal with, with accidents in this case here uh, you can see the astronaut fall down uh, but uh, I, I can imagine a very probable uh, situation uh, in the during the extravehicular activities, a uh, very common situation would be the when they are collecting the uh, during the extravehicular activities, they will be collecting a big piece of ice. Okay, sometimes a hundred kilos, sometimes a hundred fifty, two hundred uh, kilos of uh, a big piece of ice. Uh, they need to collect this 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 ice, uh, the ice in the in the landscape to bring back to the station because this piece of ice uh, collecting the surface of Mars, uh, they need to bring to the station because the ice ice will, will be melted and also uh, treated to, to, to bring the, to, to be transformed uh, in potable water. And then you can see a lot of possible accidents when they are collecting the, the ice. Sometimes they, if, they, if the ice is sharpy, the, the sharp ice would, would cut the, the garment of the spacesuit or the, the, uh, do a, a hole in the, in, the, in, the, in the fabric of the spacesuit. And then this would be very disturbing. And then they, they need happily fix if, if, if the, the spacesuit would be uh, damaged during the extra vehicle activity. Sometimes this, uh, if the big piece of ice fall down, it uh, would break a, a leg or break a, a, the foot of the astronaut. Uh, then you need to imagine this possible situation. Sometimes uh, they would have a muscular problems during the, when they are collecting the, the ice in the, in the extravehicular activity. Uh, and then I believe this maybe this would be one of the most difficult situations uh, and dangerous situations during the extravehicular activities okay, to the astronauts. Also, 
Uh, it's important to mention that the, the radiation on Mars is four times uh, stronger when compared the, to the radiation that the, the astronauts are exposed aboard of the International Space Station. Okay, and we consider the, the main danger to the astronauts is the cosmic radiation, okay, because uh, the atmosphere on Mars is very scarce and then the the radiation will be impacting very strongly to the Mars surface. Because of this, uh, we, when we imagine Mars, look to Mars, we can see a, like a, a orange uh, landscape because part of this is by the, 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 the light, the sunlight arrive in the surface of, of Mars. And now we are arriving the last part of this presentation is related to spin-offs, okay? Some, some ideas or some possible technologies to apply to Earth. A lot of, we have examples of about a lot of med medicines uh, developed about of International Space Station, about of International Space Station, not developed, but tested about of the International Space Station. And now uh, we have these, uh, these medicines uh, commercialized in, 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 uh, in pharmacies, but these medicines were uh, tested aboard of the International Space Station. And then you can imagine a lot of learnings uh, from the Mars operation that would be applied to our daily lives on Earth. In this case, we can see the, uh, the operation of the, of the operation of, of Mars habitat will present guidelines about exercise, about social isolation, about nutrition that would be applied on Earth. Also, the impacts of uh, sustainable development goals. We can see a lot of impacts about the related to the goal tree, uh, related to good health, but also bring ideas to quality education and also gender equality, okay? Bringing women to be uh, part of this facility, okay? And then this is my references about this presentation. Uh, and this is my contact, okay? And thanks so much for your attention.